So you, th you think there is like this biological stress that goes through generations? Definitely. Yeah. It's not, it's not like a hundred percent, you know, but here's the thing, it's I, definitely here's the thing I noticed too. I'm sorry for cutting you off, but like, the thing I noticed, the thing I noticed too a lot is like, no matter what culture or whatever your kind of environment you're part of, the one thing I noticed is that there's always the people kind of going back to the group thing, kind of talk. There's always people that recognize, Oh, there's something off here. There's something interesting going on here, but then something like, like the last moment they go back to the group and then they're stuck forever like that. And that's what I always see in my life. Personally, I see, you know, with family or whatever friends, it's like, like I see that they're getting some things differently. They're understanding some new ideas or some interesting perspectives for once. Right. But then there's something comes to the point where they're like, Oh, I mean, you know what? I'll go back to the group thought. Yeah. They get sucked like, back in. What? Yeah. yeah. Like that's, that, 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 that's like a phenomenon. I, I want to know. I'm curious about like, how does it, why does that happen? I mean, it's, it's, it's very either... easy. It's very easy because it comes back to what I was saying. Like, you know, your mother, like, who are you around with when you're growing up, right? Your yeah. mom, your dad, if he's there, like, if he's working, then he's not there that much, but he's there. Right. Then maybe some grandparents, maybe some Siblings, cousins. Siblings, cousins, you know? yeah. And then when you go to school, maybe you make some friends, right? Right. But you got to understand, like, all those people are are basically like a template, right? Yeah. You are getting a template how to how to live life, right? And you can only live life as a human by watching stuff and seeing stuff and hearing stuff and you know tasting stuff, touching sh shit. That's how yeah. humans can, you know, they have these senses and they can interpret reality with those senses. That's how it works. Right? From what I've understood so far you know till my 25 years is that senses is the only way you can fucking you know process anything process information yeah maybe there's some higher level shit like you know drugs that can expand your you know consciousness and all that stuff but we can get into that in another episode but yeah for sure i'm just talking about right now basic shit right Basic shit, basic senses. That's how I process info. Okay. Yeah. So when I process that info at a young age, right, and I see my mom's acting like this, my dad's acting like that, this cousin, this brother, sisters, then I can see, okay, that's normal to me. Yeah, yeah. That's a normal way to act, right? There's this great story, like how this one kid, I don't remember his name, but he was like a, um, he was a child. He was nine years old or something. And he was like constantly playing with his dick. That's just what kids do. You know, they just experimenting, yeah. playing. And his mother was like super religious, super, you know, Catholic or what was she? Yeah, and yeah. she like told him like one day and she's like, you know, Johnny, like, if you keep doing that, you're going to go to hell. Like, stop doing that mm. shit, you know? And that got to the kid. And, and that same day, same night, the kid was, like, just started screaming out of nowhere. And the mother comes in and he's, like, putting needles in his dick because he's like, oh I don't want to go to hell, right? Yeah. And what happened with this kid is he grew up to be a, like, pedophile and he would go in like parking lots and like cut off like little boys dicks and shit. Okay. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you know, it's extreme example, but yeah, I get, I, no, but I, that's, I get, that's, I that's, yeah, I know I got I got to make an extreme example, like for people to understand it, you know? Yeah. Cause when I talk about normal shit, like everyone does that, you know, everyone has a mom, sometimes not sometimes dad. But yeah. That's like the environment, you know, if you're, little things like that and i had that also happen with my son like i didn't not about not like pedophile shit but like what happened was my mother my yeah. wife like told him something you know like you know don't do this thing or like the police is gonna come you know yeah, and yeah he yeah. took that serious and he was super afraid like for two three days he was scared as fuck you know yeah and it was just like one sentence like you know just slipped because he was like doing crazy shit, you know, out of control. And you're just like, you know, stop that, 
you know, if you don't stop, police is going to come. Like, don't do that, you know. Yeah, I used just, to get those talks too. Just how, just how, you know, parents say it sometimes, you know. Yeah, definitely. But that really affected him. Like, you could see it. Like, he was super scared. Like, he was like, oh, um, is, is someone coming? Like, he was always asking, is someone coming? Is someone coming? You know? Yeah. And that affected him. Like, yeah, and then th those restrictions then become, okay, this is what I don't do in the future. This is what I do now. This is what I don't do. Yeah, and like, forward. luckily, like, now we, it's getting better. Like, we also, like, want to encourage that, you know, make sure, like, say hi to the police. Like, go, you know, see them, talk to them, you know. Not yeah. that he thinks, like, police is horrible, and then he's, like, afraid of police all the <laughs> right, time. Right, right, right. You know, like, like, that's the problem. You're watching Izzy and Ibra TV.